whoever is actually following along, welcome back. Uh, I figured I'd make try to make a little informative video on something that I've I've found on online. I've known it for a while. I've never actually seen a video where someone puts it into perspective where you can actually see. So I'm gonna try to do that to the best of my abilities. Now, this right here is a tail shaft off of a, there it is, off of a Chrysler 45 and 545 RFE transmission found in a multitude of vehicles. I'm actually gonna set that down right now because that's kind of heavy. Jeez. For that being what it is, it's, <coughs> excuse me. For that being what it is and as small as it is, it's really heavy. But back to, back on point. The, <coughs> excuse me. Ugh. There's a cottonwood tree blowing stuff around. And it's kind of, yeah. But anyway. The Chrysler 545 and 45 RFE transmission. The actual transmission body itself from bell housing all the way to where your tail, your tail, tail shaft, tail housing, whatever you want to call it, would bolt on is exactly the same. The only difference is going to be your valve body and the plug-ins they're colored some of them are sometimes they're color coded sometimes they're just colors uh i don't remember right off the top of my head what the different colors are or what they what they represent but the on the four-wheel drive if you've if you've seen a four-wheel drive transmission in person or online or pictures or whatever the adapter plate <coughs> on these and the tail shaft are interchangeable so you can take a transmission excuse me you can take a transmission or a 45 or 545 transmission out of a two-wheel drive fca vehicle knock the tail shaft off put the adapter plate on it and turn it and it turns into a four-wheel drive transmission i've had a lot of people argue with argue this point with me and yet, I actually have one in this thing right here. My roommate's 2000, 2000 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I, I don't remember what year it is, but it came with the 545 RFE. We managed to score a 545 RFE out of a, I think it was a 2005 Dodge Durango with a Hemi that was two wheel drive. And of course the Jeep is four wheel drive. So that was, that was our biggest hurdle. You unbolt it, you unbolt both of them. I used a piece of wood and a hammer to knock it off so I wouldn't damage the aluminum or I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's aluminum housing. But they swap right over, seal it with art, with some sort of transmission RTV. And it goes from Hang on, let me get this halfway set up to kind of show you. It will go from this, and then we'll come around over here under the Jeep. And it will turn into this right here. All of these bolts if I can find my finger. Oh, that's the jack. All of these bolts right here around all the way up and around here. Yes, I know some of them are still loose. That's just because we had to stop halfway through. But it will do, it, it's the exact same thing. Uh, on that tail shaft that I showed you it's inside of there is literally just basically an extension shaft and some bearings to keep it 
lined up where it's supposed to be. Other than that, the 45 and the 545 RFE are essentially the same. So if I had to break this video down into just a few seconds, the FCA made, or I think it was FCA that, ma that made it. The FCA used, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say FCA used just for, just because I don't know if they actually designed and built it or if they bought it. But the FCA used 45 and 545 RFE transmissions are exactly the same. You can turn a two-wheel drive into a four-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive into a two-wheel drive. It just, it's, it just, it makes it easier to find a transmission. It makes it easier for pretty much everything transmission-wise on these. I believe this is the only thing I haven't been able to confirm, but I believe all of the bell housing mounting bolts are in the same position because as I said, the transmission that we bolted into the Jeep came out of a 5.7 liter Hemi and it's bolted up to a 4.7 liter PowerTech or the it's bolted up to the 4.7. I don't know if the V6 versions that had the that had the 45 545 RFE have the same bell housing. I, I haven't had the luxury of seeing one of those yet in person to compare it side to side but I'm pretty sure that it would be the same just because just to make just to make life easier for FCA so they don't have to have you know several different uh, transmission housings because on these the bell housing does not come off it is one solid one solid unit front to back except for where the tail shaft bolts on but if anybody ever has any question about a 45 545 RFE there's your answer I would say something about the 66 I think 66 and 68 RFE I think it's a 6 I think there's a 66 I know there's a 68 for the heavy duty trucks um I don't know if those work the same but I don't see why they wouldn't it's basically just it's basically the same transmission but with one more gear one or two more gears depending on which which RFE you're looking at and or which RFE you're looking at and which one you want to go to it's should be the same the electronics are going obviously going to be different so that's one thing you will have to watch out for um the 545 RFE was used up until I think 2008 was the last year for the 545. The 45 was only used for a couple years or a few years. It was used from 98 or 99. I don't remember what year they changed the Jeep Grand Cherokee body style, but it was the first, the V8 Jeep Grand Cherokee was the first vehicle to get the RFE style transmission. And they used that. They, whenever they switched to the RFE, yeah, RFE transmission, um, they used it up until 02 or 03, and then they started using it in the trucks, which is, I believe, whenever they gained the extra gear, or I think, actually, that part I might be wrong about. I, I'll admit that. That part I might be wrong about. But I do know that the only difference between a 45 and a 545 RFE is literally electronics. It's, it's programming. Uh, yeah, it's, it, the only difference is programming. The electronics are the same. You can take a 45 RFE out of a 99 Jeep Grand Cherokee, throw it in a 04 half-ton pickup, and it'll turn it into a 545 it's it's all about the software i i don't know the i don't know the specifics on it 
sorry, I haven't been able to talk all day. Um, I don't know the, the specifics on it, but I do know that they are ex the exact same transmission. There's something, it's something to do with an extra planetary gear set, I think. Um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, uh, pretty positive. It's basically just an extra planetary gear set uh, that gives it the five-speed capability instead of a four-speed capability. Uh, it has three planetary gear sets instead of two um, in your, you know, other transmissions of that same era, uh, which is, I, which is how they achieved that extra gear without changing anything. Well, they changed the programming, but other than that, 45 Fire 45 RFE two wheel four wheel drive, exact same thing, minus the tail shaft or adapter housing, or adapter housing, whatever you want to call it, where your transfer case bolts to. It's bell housing to where your tail shaft adapter housing bolts onto is the exact same thing. You can swap it out, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, doesn't matter. As far as I know, the V8s, the 4.7 and the 5.7 Hemi, or the 4.7 liter and the 5.7 liter Hemi, 4.7 is not a V8, or not a, not a Hemi. <sighs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, 4.7 liter Powertech and the 5.7 liter Hemi, I know they will interchange. I don't know, I'm, as I said before, I'm not sure about the V6. That's, that's something that you would have to see. I, I personally haven't seen one to compare si at the same time as having a V8 RFE out, so I can't 100% confirm that the bell housing is the same. But if you've ever had any questions about the 45, 545 FCA used uh, RFE transmissions, I was I hope this answered most of your most or most any or all of your questions that you could ever have. Um, or about, about applications and whatnot, and I, I decided to make this video because of the fact that I spent four months trying to find a transmission for this, and in that four months is where I learned that you can swap two-wheel to four-wheel drive. That's the only reason I bought the transmission, or yeah, that's the only reason I bought the transmission that I did was because I knew I could switch it no problem. But I hope this helps. Y'all have a great day. And have fun. Stay safe.